I just finished filming this little review um, for Dodo Cool. <laughs> I don't make the names, all right. I'm just I just relay the products, but uh, it's a little felt bag. It's an envelope bag style with Velcro here. Um, you know, I'm going to try to mention stuff like this instead of dedicating a whole video to it for my channel. I, I did the video review for Amazon. Now, I'll, I'll agree to do that because, you know, I don't care too much about, like, I care about the specifics and if the product's good or not because it's my reputation on Amazon because I do have a profile and stuff like I do on, on YouTube channel, sort of on Amazon for review channel. And uh, But for the content on YouTube, something this simple, I'd rather just mention in the vlog because, you know, why not? But uh, these fit, you know, uh, up to 12 inch uh, size or so. So I've got the Surface Pro 3 in here. And it really works great for transporting and for storage. So I would slap the Surface Pro in here and put it in a messenger bag and go that route. Like I wouldn't just wag this around because it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but it serves its purpose. It's like this felt... Um, suede felt stuff but it's really thick there's no way you would destroy this it's just impossible but it's not going to protect from dropping it so uh, it's just a way to store it, stuff and carry it and the cool thing too on the back that I like is these little slits here now they don't open that much but they open enough to get your phone in and an external charger here so you can run the cable over to your phone and charge that while it sits down in your messenger bag yeah, if you're running low on storage or inside the messenger bag, be able to do that. But a lot of times, I've been able to use slots inside the messenger bag for that. But if you can't, this is an option. But, uh, yeah, I like it. And it comes with, like, a little pouch to store stuff as well. So, Dodo Cool, D-O-D-O-C-O-O-L. Uh, look, look it up on Amazon. It's just a sleeve. So, super cheap, under 10 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong. That. And that is shipped if you're a Prime member. Now, I used to watch A Different World growing up. It was a great series. And I'll be damned if on Steve Harvey, they're having a, a Different World a reunion. First time together on air, I think, the whole group in like 25 years or something like that. But I kind of grew up watching that show, and I love that show. Along with like Family Matters, you know, all those. But that was like a generational first thing going on there in that show. So it's pretty cool. If you don't know it, go back and watch like some reruns of it. But it's nostalgic. It's not like groundbreaking probably now. You'd probably be like, what the crap? And a lot of stuff I go back and watch from childhood. I'm like, you know, I think this was a little bit more interesting then than now. And as an example, I have the Flash box set. Yeah, that's one of those. I want to bring up this mouse for just a second. This is a Lenovo mouse. Um, it's a Windows mouse. You can see the Windows logo here, so you can push it and it would pull up your tiles. But the coolest thing about it is it transforms. Let me try to get to this. I can do this, but it transforms into a flat pointer if you want it to, like that. Like if you're giving a, uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of presentation or something. But my main thing is it's for travel. Look how slim this is. It takes up no real estate whatsoever in your bag, and it's flush. It's Bluetooth, so there's no dongle that you need with it. And whenever you want to use it again, you just flip it over, and it's got a laser there on the bottom, and it works fabulous. Now, I know I've probably said this before, but whenever you're uh, uh, getting ready to render your, your video for Amazon, you have to make sure to go super tiny. So I went MPEG-4, uh, 720 by 480, and that's two and a half. And I'm going to end up with just like a three-minute video or whatever. That's 80.1 megabytes. And you need to stay under 100. They only take under 100 megabytes of video. I understand why they do that, and I think it's pretty genius, and I don't think they should change that because that allows you to not go on this huge long rant about something or um, put a lot of visuals in there. It allows you to just be raw. You can take your phone and, you know, on, the, on standard definition, film something, and it allows it to stay um, community-based or whatever and not get out into um, commercial-type things to advertise their products, which is nice. And, and I'm always as fair as humanly possible on a product. I want to be. If, if 
I wouldn't buy it. I don't want to do a review on it. I don't want to give a good review unless I would personally buy the thing myself. Now, sometimes it may not be something that I would ever even think of buying, and and, and it, you know, they send it to me or whatever, and I'm like, hey, this for what you're advertising this for, I'm basing it on that review, and it does exactly what you say it will, and at a reasonable price, and you get a good review. If it's if you're saying it's going to do this and it does a, a crappy job at it and it's overpriced, uh, then all those things factor into your overall review and it's a struggle to be as fair as possible. There's plenty of times where I lay down at night and I'm like, did I give that 120% because somebody out there is spending their hard-earned money on that product and that's not a burden. You know, you think... Well, what a burden to have. You get a free product and you give a review on it. But I think about things like that nonstop. It's like, how can I make this and, and, and carry this information over to you and go as overly detailed as possible? I'd rather go over detailed on something and just be just too specific than be under and you buy it on a whelm and you're like, this sucks. Why did you tell me to even buy this? This is terrible. So... It's a it's that struggle for it to be entertaining and all that stuff and be really super defined and explaining what it is as well. So the internal struggles of me, episode one. Is this not insane? Like look at these stats right here, right? This is my cell phone using Foxfy app and that actually unlocks your hotspot on your phone. I have unlimited data so it doesn't matter to me to use that, but it unlocks Wi-Fi on my phone. To, anybody can get it or whatever, and I can use it on my Surface Pro. This is my Surface Pro. This is what I want to talk about, my download speed, right? On Charter, I'm able to get like 70-something, so I'm 40-something 40, 40 here on my cell phone. That, that's fine. This is what I like. Upload speed, right? 17.38. I'm only pulling like 4.5 on Charter. So... I may just use my hotspot for my Wi-Fi on my desktop when I live stream because that upload video quality would like boom through the roof. Only problem I'm worried about is stability. Like, you know, on my home network, I have a secure, stable network. It's not going to drop uh, me off for some reason and lose the stream. So uh, that would be the only scary thing I, I would have to do. Oh, and I don't even think I told you this, but uh, I got an invitation from Amazon to join Amazon Preview. And what this is, is you'll get to see trailers, um, pilots for series, film, and things like that early um, before release. And you'll be able to give feedback back to Amazon um, about the shows and stuff like that. And they'll take your recommendations and roll that into the final product that everybody gets to see. So I got involved in that program by invitation only, and it's by invitation only too. So you can go to AmazonPreview.com. Uh, you can join a waiting list to try to get into that. But they just sent me an invitation for it. I totally jumped on that and accepted it. But oftentimes you got to go get something like Sea Cleaner and download that. And you're like searching Sea Cleaner, and you're like, where do I go get this at? Well, always go through File Hippo. I trust File File Hippo to download. All the applications for your computer, it's safe. Just watch some of the advertising, but you'll see, you know, um, let me run this. I had to update my C-Cleaner. But um, you'll see, like, you know, a place to the side. I'll show you here in just a second if this would stop. And I think we're running it now. Yeah. So I can go to File Hippo here. Um, they've got, like, a bazooka. We'll go C-Cleaner, like, earlier. And then who? It's right here. This is an advertisement, but it says, this right here is an advertisement. It says advertisement there. You'll click here off to the side. And just use File Hippo. It's a secure source for applications uh, for your computer. You know, I absolutely love just doing stuff around the house, doing chores around the house, and listening to music. And one of the things I listen to music on is milk. Now, uh, milk here because I have unlimited data and a really good signal like all the time I can go down to settings here and you see audio quality well that's that's extreme you got high and standard so 
listen to on the stream, the quality makes a huge difference. And I'm listening to music right now, so if I'm loud or talking stupid, these are noise-isolating headphones and I can't hear a word that I'm saying. <laughs>